Hi there. This webinar is presented by Andrew Christie and Dave Lamb, both cookery teachers with TAS TAFE. The following presentation provides information and details for the kitchen operations qualification offered by TAS TAFE in 2022. There will be the opportunity for a question and answer session at the end of this presentation. So with course information, this qualification is the, is the first step on your culinary career to learn the basics of food preparation and cookery in a professional training environment. This qualification provides the core cookery training <coughs> that you'll need to work in hospitality enterprises where food is prepared and served. So this includes restaurants, hotels, catering operations, clubs, pubs, cafes, cafeterias and coffee shops. So the career opportunities that suit this course are for a kitchen hand, catering assistant, fast food cook. In this course, you'll learn how to work effectively with others in a commercial kitchen environment and participate in the safe and hygienic work practices for food production, as well as learn how to use food preparation equipment and clean and maintain kitchen premises and equipment. You'll also get a lot of hands-on experience in preparing dishes using basic uh, methods of cookery, as well as learning how to maintain the quality of perishable items. On successful completion of this course, you will have the skills and experience that you need to gain entry-level employment or continue your cookery career by obtaining uh, an apprenticeship in commercial cookery. So the apprenticeship pathway um, sit to uh, 30816 is a certificate three in commercial cookery, which is an apprenticeship. The units that are covered in the kitchen operations course are work effectively with others, use food preparation equipment, prepare dishes using basic methods of cookery, using cookery skills effectively, cleaning kitchen premises and equipment, using hygienic practices for food safety, maintaining the quality of perishable items and participating in safe work practices. So they are the core units. The elective units are show social and cultural sensitivity, prepare and present sandwiches, prepare appetizers and salads, prepare stock soups and sauces, and prepare vegetable, fruit, eggs, and farinaceous dishes. So with course delivery, this course is delivered full-time with predominantly face-to-face -face delivery at the Drysdale campuses throughout the state. Learning and assessment activities are accessed through your online platform, Didasco, which requires access through your smartphone or tablet or computer. The uniform for this course, which is included in your fees, is required to be worn for all practical classes within Drysdale Kitchens, unless otherwise advised by your teacher. Students are responsible for the laundering of that uniform. Course entry requirements. There are no essential entry requirements for this course. However, to make sure this course is right for you, please, please think about the important personal attributes and physical requirements that may be necessary for this course. While some requirements of the course may be met with reasonable adjustment, you'll need to make sure that you are physically able to undertake the task required uh, to complete this course. Timetable information. So as mentioned previously, attendance is full time um, and is offered in Hobart, Launceston and Devonport. The dates are listed here. Hobart, the 29th of August to the 2nd of December. Launceston, the 18th of July to the 25th of November. And that's the same for Devonport as well. So uh, this is being offered at those three locations around the state, Hobart, Launceston and Devonport. 
course fees and associated co costs are all uh, listed on this screen. So the approximate tuition fees are $976 subsidised, $325 with concession, $5,001 in a commercial application. So the associated costs that are extra to this course, you'll need to pay for the following items. Um, a uniform, jackets, pants, aprons, hat, and resources. So the appropriate associated cost for that is $357.50. And the, the fee you pay at TAS TAFE will depend on the course you choose and may vary depending on the level of government subsidy available, the cost of delivery, any previous study you have undertaken, and your personal, personal circumstances. Tuition fees for this course are available at the top of the course page on our website, and there's a fee calculator uh, associated with that. The application process. So applications will open on the 30th of May at midday. So if you visit our website, go to the student section and then go to the imply and enroll page uh, as pictured on this image here. And then you can watch um, a presentation about applying at TAS TAFE. And then after you've submitted your application, you keep an eye out on your emails as we will advise the outcome of your application or if we need to get any further information from you. So as, as I said earlier, that's all on our website. So with TAS TAFE, if you need assistance or support during your time at TAS TAFE, please don't hesitate to contact one of the student councils or disability liaison officers for, you, for help. We offer a large range of student services, including support with literacy and numeracy, study skills, advice about financial assistance, counseling, disability support, and career planning. Um, and there's a phone number there, 1300 655 307 to make an appointment or um, visit the student support section on our website <coughs> as available. Another handy tool um, which you can use is to take a virtual tour of the facilities at our Drysdale campuses. And here's an attached link to be able to have a look at some of the kitchens and uh, the bakery, cafes, coffee training rooms, etc. And that'll give you a good idea of the facilities we have available uh, at TAS TAFE. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the kitchen. I bet there's quite a lot of different uh, training rooms that you can access via this virtual tour. So that concludes our formal presentation. So from here, we can answer your questions. Thanks very much for joining us today.
looks like we've got a few shy people out there, so that's fine. Um, more information can be found on our website, as we said. Um, certainly, you've got just um, at one of our tabs to see more information. Thank you again for attending, and we hopefully will see you soon.